laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Penal institutions take every conceivable precaution against any dangerous action or plan on the part of the inmates. But on May 8th at Rendell State Prison, the sudden collapse of a guard due to a heart attack made possible the escape of two women, since the strategic point was left unguarded. Two women who were both serving a life sentence for murder. Shortly after their escape was discovered, the two women, Lita Morgan and Carolyn Craig, reached a state highway where they knew they must obtain immediate transportation out of the area if they were to make good their escape. It's a road. We got a lucky break, but what are we going to do with it? Before long, every cop in the state's going to be looking for us. We, we knew that when we took off. First thing we got to do is put distance between ourselves and this neighborhood. Hey, maybe we could uh, borrow the next car that comes along, <laughs> provided it's driven by a man and, and he's alone. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, well, we need a lot of other things. We gotta, we gotta get some clothes and money, and and I, you know, I like a gun just in case. Yeah, we gotta take first things first. We don't wanna wind up in solitary. The first thing for us to do is get some transportation. Yeah. Oh. Attention, all units. Attention, all units. A Rental State Prison reports two escapees, zero nine seventeen hours. Described as Lita Morgan, female, 5'3", brown hair, brown eyes, serving life sentence for murder. Also, Carolyn Craig, female, 5'4", blonde, serving life sentence for murder. Both girls in late 20s, both dressed in prison uniform. Let's take a look at that map. There, there's the state prison for women, three miles north of the town of Rendell. Well, we're going to have to set up roadblocks north and south of Rendell. Of course, they had transportation. They can be passed there by now. Yeah, take a look here. An open mile stretch for about 20 miles. Next town north is Baylor. Yeah. 2150 to headquarters. Headquarters by? Set up roadblocks north and south of Leader. Also one five miles south of Baylor. Another 10 miles south of Leader. Contact records for pictures of the escapees and furnished all units. 10-4? 10-4. Let's check that Leader territory. Hey, there's a car coming. I think he's alone. Hello there. What's the trouble? Well, I, I was looking for a service station with a mechanic, but it looks like I'm walking in the wrong direction. I'm afraid you are. There isn't a real good mechanic between here and Swinton. Well, how far is Swinton? Not far. I'd be glad to give you a lift. Oh, boy, my feet tell me that's the best offer I've had all day. Okay, hop in. Say, that dress you're wearing, isn't it a... Hey, stop it! Stop it! Come on, stop it. Well, maybe we better tie him up or something. I don't think we got a bother. He's dead. You sure? Positive. Well, let's get him out of here. Come on. Any leads yet? Nothing. We've combed this whole area. All we've drawn so far is blanks. 
you get the pictures? Yeah, the helicopter dropped them ten minutes ago. Here's an extra set. I'm positive those two girls haven't gone through here. Thanks. Dress shop? Uh-uh. Cops know we'll go for clothes. They probably called every dress shop in the neighborhood. Okay. I sure would like a new dress. Anybody here? Coming. Hello, may I help you? Yeah. You can help us, lady. <laughs> Ouch! Now, lady, listen here. You get back there, face down, and you keep your mouth shut, and you won't get hurt. Now, get out. I mean it. Now. Fit in the world, and it's sure better than that prison outfit, huh? Looks fine. Here, I got a coat for you. Oh, good. And we'll go to that hardware store down the street. What for? Guns. We gotta get guns. Huh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Headquarters to 2150. 2150 by. 4210 reports body of man found just off Highway 16, miles south of Rendell Prison. Apparent victim of recent attack. Well, that could be our girls. We're on our way. 10-4? 10-4. It was Anthony Faber, lived in Baylor. The uh, license number's here on the credit card. Twenty-one fifty to headquarters. Headquarters by. An APV on a car bearing license two Boston six eight three. Type and make unknown. If you pick it up, hold the occupants. Could be our escapees. Ten four. Ten four. What are we stopping for? I thought we needed distance. See that bus over there? Come on and bring the map with you. I got an idea. Oh, why? We're doing fine. The cops will stop us in a car. But I got plans for that bus. Excuse me, sir. Uh... Hello, uh... Hello. Oh, what time does the bus leave? Right now. And uh, how far does it go? To the county line just south of Swinton. Oh, well, thank you very much. If you're much. going, you better get aboard right now. Thanks. Forty cents, please, if you're going to the end of the line. Charge it. What? I said, charge it. Now get this thing going and keep it going. Look, must be a picture of his wife and kids. I think we've got a couple of first-class suspects in those two women escapees. Headquarters to 2150. Headquarters to 2150. 2150 by. 
Clerk in hardware store at Leader, slugged by two women who then stole two guns and ammunition. Clerk shot when he attempted to prevent escape of assailants. Bystander identified getaway car as vehicle. Described in last APB. 10-4. 10-4. Looks like that pins them under a favor on the two gals. We better check Leader again. Yeah, they should be someplace between here and there. about the people that are waiting for the bus? Skip them. You just keep driving till we tell you to stop. Hey, wait a minute. Let me think. If we do have to go through a roadblock, it's gonna look mighty funny with this empty bus. How many people do you usually pick up between here and Swinton? 25 or 30, sometimes more. Well, you know, I think we ought to have a couple of uh, passengers on this bus. Is that a bus stop up ahead? Yeah, yes, it is. There are a couple people waiting there. You stop and pick them up. Look, that's Lynn Brady and his wife. Can't, can't we leave them alone? You heard her. Now you stop and pick them up or we'll be picking up your pieces. Sure, sure, sure. I'll stop. Never mind the fare, mister. You're going to get a free ride. Now, you just sit down and do what you're told. You by the window. Go on. Go on. on. OK, sister, you sit next to him. Now, you just behave and you do what you're told, and maybe you'll live through this. And I said maybe. OK, mister. Get this thing moving. <laughs> The only clue picked up so far by the highway patrol was the license number of a car which apparently belonged to the murdered man. The two escapees were now armed with stolen guns, weighing their chances of getting through the roadblock in the bus. If this move was successful, freedom might lie just on the other side of the highway patrol roadblock. That was a cop's car. Oh, whatever, they don't know we're on the bus. Oh, that means there'll be a roadblock up ahead. There is. This bus is going to have to go through it. Hey, Mr. Bus Driver, I'm telling you right now, if there is a roadblock, we're going through it with or without shooting. come through here. We haven't seen the women or the car they're supposed to be driving. Well, that means one of two things. Either ditch the car, they're trying to get around us. They can't get around us as they go through the Davis Pass. That's block two. Contact the roadblock at Davis Pass. Give them the information we got. Right. Hey, you know our boy's right. Davis Pass is the only way out of Rendell. Well, there's a dirt road south of here that goes over to Highway 302, but they'd have to come by here to get to the road. It's a negative report from the Davis Pass block. Headquarters to 2150. Headquarters to 2150. 2150, bye. Dress shop and leader also held up and robbed by two women suspects. Loss includes money from cash drawer, a purse, and apparently several dresses. Describe the dresses. Not available until proprietress checks. 10-4. We're in good shape. Now we don't know how to dress. There it is, kid. Now listen, mister. There's a roadblock up ahead, and whether you live another 10 minutes or whether you don't depends on whether we get through it. And same goes for you two. So put on a real good act if you won't ever put on another one. Take it. 
Hello? Hi. What's the matter? You happen to notice two women together anywhere along the road? No, no, I haven't. Have you had any women passengers that got off before you reached here? No, only these two passengers today. These two women escaped from Rendell this morning. Now, if you just happen to see two women together, if you see this license number, 2B683, be sure and call a highway patrol. I sure will. Hey, thanks for stopping. Don't mention it. You know, I'm not so sure about that bus. I don't see they can afford to run it with only two passengers. Wouldn't even pay the driver's salary. Is it always like that? Well, I'm not sure, but I do know that bus doesn't run very often. And every time I've ever passed it, it's been crowded. You better check it, Ken. Could mean something. The thing to do now is to get off this highway as quick as we can. when you come to it. That's a narrow dirt road, a, a lot of turns. I don't think the bus can make it. Mister, you make that turn. Headquarters to 3016. 3016, bye. A bus in question usually carries 25 or more passengers. Today, bus company deluged with calls from passengers complaining bus did not stop to pick them up. 10-4. Let's check that bus again. Something screwy. We should have passed that bus by now. How about that turn off to 302? I will right, we'll try it. Have a unit covered from the south. Follow me. Okay, here's where we split. Go on, pick your direction and good luck. Look, if we get out of this, go to Chicago and look up Gus Daniels. Tell him you're a friend of mine. Oh, okay, Chicago. I'll remember that. Oh, I'll go this way. Oh, see you in Chicago.
We got off the bus about a hundred yards back, right by that opening in the fence. All right, let's go. You take this one. You don't have a chance. Come on, Carolyn, you better give up. Okay, you guys. Come on. All right, drop the gun. Hands behind you. Okay, let's go. Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, it isn't what you drive, but how you drive that counts. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.